My mom met a guy online, and then something terrible happened. I am using a throwaway. I'm too mind-fucked over this and have a few friends on Reddit. Backstory. So my mom has been single for years. She's been divorced a total of three times. A one-year marriage when she was 18. Married to my dad for 10 years. Then remarried my retard stepdad almost another 10. And her last relationship was probably eight plus years ago was also to another waste of space. But she didn't marry that one. Recently, she started dating online and myself and my older brother and younger sister have been supportive of this. We understand she wants to meet someone, and she deserves it, too. She's been relatively cautious up until now and has been using a background check program on anyone she meets. She's turned away several scammer-type guys she's met, one she nicknamed Nigeria, and hasn't been easily duped. So she meets Jeff on another site. She had been using Match.com, comma, where she met all the scammers. He came up on another site that isn't as well known. Jeff is a wealthy Russian businessman who has lived in the U.S. since he was 23. He has a daughter attending school in England owns a construction company, and plans to retire soon. Jeff and Mom have been talking for a total of three months. The first month, she even admitted she didn't speak to him much since she was talking to all sorts of people when she first joined these dating sites. So, really, let's call it two two months. She's told me a few times now that she really, really likes him, but that's been it thus far. She texted me Saturday night saying just that. Yesterday, she called me. After the usual pleasantries, she drops the bombshell on me. She and Jeff are in love. He asked her to marry him. She said yes. The wedding is over the summer. He's visiting her in PA next week. When he leaves PA, she's going with him. This is all over the phone. They still need to meet face to face. She's still determining how to tell her boss, whom she's worked for almost nine years, that she's quitting. But he isn't getting two weeks' notice. Jeff wants to take care of her. She doesn't need her car. He'll take care of it. She owes too much to sell it yet. He calls her his world. He's got money and doesn't want her to work. My mom has always struggled with money and men. This guy comes along with a fairy tale story and wants to give her everything she could want. And she's hooked. Reddit, what the fuck? This is how 2020th specials start. I'm so apprehensive about her and can't understand this situation. Yes, there is always the possibility that this guy is entirely legit and he just wants to sweep her off her feet and make her happy for the rest of her life. Then again, if anyone told you they had met a wealthy Russian living in Florida who was about to retire on millions and wanted to do nothing more than just take care of them, would call that a fairy tale and who would call it a scam? Additional details. Mom's not an American citizen. She has a green card and moved here from Australia about 20 years ago. I don't know if he's a citizen, but if this is what it's about, the joke's on him. Beyond whatever she might have in a life insurance policy and a little retirement, neither of which I know about but which I don't believe to be significant, she has no assets. My brother bought a house and moved her in there. My brother and sister are in PA, but I moved to Florida and will, thankfully, be only about 2.5 hours from where she plans to move. I have been cautiously supportive. I told her my central reservation was that she was leaving with him immediately. If he has so much money, take a few months and date, then decide to move down there. I texted her today, asking for Jeff's last name and company name. Her response was, I don't feel like talking today. Love you. TLDR mom met a guy online three months ago and is ready to get rid of her car, quit her job, and move to Florida with him next week. It sounds so incredibly scammy it makes me sick. Edit. Formatting. Relevant comments. Would she be able to do a background check? That's one of the more frustrating aspects of this. Since my mom was using this background check program, she's convinced he's in the clear. Nothing turned up when she ran his name. As soon as I can get actual details on him, believe me, I will. Someone says to meet him when he's in town. Fortunately, he'll meet my sister when he's in town next week. Unfortunately, my dear sister has been the most supportive of this. My brother lives in NJ and might be unable to make it home in time, and he and I are in the same boat. I'll get to meet him soon, regardless. She plans to return to Florida with him when he leaves next week, so I'll drive to where they are and meet up. Whether she stays there permanently or takes a leave of absence from work is yet to be seen. More about Mom, Jeff, and how they met. Yeah, that's the hard part to convey. She's completely and madly in love with this guy and has started to give me some God talk about him, too. She's prayed for years, finally thinks her prayers are answered, etc., etc., which makes it even harder to tell her that this sounds like a total scam. And no, it was a senior-specific dating site. That's one of the aspects that worries me the most. My mom has worked her ass off for so long and doesn't want to struggle to make ends meet. 
She's borrowed tons of money from my brother and needs help to get ahead. Then she goes on and on about how Jeff just wants to take care of her. He doesn't want her to work. She will have it easy. Life will find. It's such a tempting tale. I can't say I'm surprised she believes it. Did bro talk to mom yet? And more info. I know, highly unlike her in the first place. I did tell her yesterday how wrong I think it is that she's dropping everything this week and that I want her to reconsider all this. Also, she has not spoken to my brother. He was only informed through my sister. And brother has not called mom yet. I don't know if she's feeling shitty about what I said or the fact that my brother hasn't called yet. And to top it off, I just got a call that my sister is in the hospital with a possible rupturing appendix. This week just needs to fucking die already. Editor's note. Because the post is so old, Reddit cannot tell when the post was edited. Edit 2. Thank you, Reddit. I have yet to speak to my mom, but you gave me great advice. I'm more concerned than before, but that will only motivate me to make her aware of how shady this sounds and how worried I am. I've got to get some work done for now, and have needed to all day, but oh well. But I'll update you on this thread periodically and later on when something has been resolved. Edit. 3. You guys are dying for details, and people have sent me helpful links. Right now, though, I don't have his picture, so no tin eye or luck searching romance scam.com, no last name, so no papple.com or unleashing the hordes of the internet on him, or anything else. I spoke to my mom briefly a bit ago, who is, unfortunately, at the hospital with my sister, who is going through a ruptured appendix. Mom claims she was just cranky when I texted her earlier and that we'll talk tonight. It's been a shitty couple of days. Mom said we would talk later, but I can't get any details about this guy for now. I'll post details as soon as I know more or anything has happened. But thank you again, Reddit. The support, advice, links, and wealth of terrifyingly similar stories have been hugely helpful. Edit 4. Just so you know, I'm a daughter, not a son. Edit 5. Reddit, you've been amazing. Thank you for all the feedback, suggestions, and kind words. At this point, there's nothing I can do tonight. My sister is undergoing an emergency appendectomy of all fucking days, seriously? and my mom is with her at the hospital. It's not an ideal time to press her about this guy. I will get details on him tomorrow, as I believe she won't try to withhold that information. But until then, I can't offer anything else. Thank you all again. I've received some incredible PMs about people with heavy-duty resources, and I will follow up with them, especially as soon as I have more info. Good night to you all. Much love. Edit 6. I know you guys are dying for details, so here's the only update I have for now. I got some fundamental information about this guy that my sister had mentioned to my brother. With the help of some supremely rad Redditors, we've ID'd a Jeff in the correct Florida city and gated community that I believe to be this guy. And when I say basic, I mean basic. I'm amazed that people could find stuff with the limited info I provided, but I'll just say that I believe this to be the correct person. Whether or not my mom's Russian is Jeff, or if said Jeff has had his identity stolen, I don't know yet. If this Jeff is the same guy, he's most definitely lying to my mom since he's got a wife and his house is for sale. That's all for now, though. Mom's checking up on my sister for the morning at the hospital. I'll speak to her this afternoon for details. Stay tuned. And thanks to everyone again. First update. So I spoke to my mom just now. She filled me in on my sister, who is doing fine, by the way. And we got into this situation. When I called her yesterday and expressed my serious concern about her leaving so soon, she said it was a severe wake-up call. She has also since started to take the blinders off on the warning flares that went up and admitted that she is seeing more warning signs. She said that Jeff has clammed up since she started asking questions just yesterday. He's telling her, I know your kids want to know all about the man sweeping you off your feet, but we need to keep our private life private. Thankfully, she acknowledges how fucking shady a comment like that is. Finally, she said he recently asked her to do a favor for him. She won't tell me what it is. It could be receiving and shipping goods, sending money. Who knows? She was adamant that she wouldn't tell me, but she's embarrassed. So here's where it stands. She says I... Bows, thank you, thank you, gave her the wake-up call she needed, and she's convinced he's a scammer. She's also horribly heartbroken and feeling embarrassed. She broke down on the phone, and I swear it's been years since I've heard my mom cry. Thank God, however, that she isn't moving forward. However, what remains to be seen is the true identity of Jeff. With the help of some seriously awesome Redditors, I believe I know who the Jeff is that this Russian is parading as. Her Russian has a thick accent. And Jeff, who he claims to be, apparently graduated from high school in Ohio in 1981, 
so I think it's safe to assume that Jeff has had his identity stolen. She and I will email details tonight and see if we can't come up with more questions or leads on this guy. We will inform the honest Jeff of what's going on. There's good reason to assume he's innocent in this. The background info that other Redditors have dug up isn't giving any indication that he's a shady dude, but we want to see if we can't find out more from the Russian first. In this case, if we can find out who the Russian is, believe me, I'll go to slash b slash myself. Second update. Hi, Reddit. I figured a new post was a better place for an update since the other one had gotten so crazy. One, the most recent update is that mom is not moving to Florida with Jeff. She said I helped her see the light of the situation when I called her back about it after our first conversation. Thankfully, she took the blinders off, recognized the warning signs, and was convinced this guy was not who he said he was. Mom's hurt, but thankful she didn't let it go any further. Two, nothing has moved forward over the last day or so since my sister got out of the hospital from her appendectomy. Work was hectic on Friday, and without the rush to make sure Mom didn't pack up in the next few days, I should have been as on top of pursuing more leads as I should have. That said, there are still some incredible Redditors out there who have helped track down some impressive info for me. I plan to send them some additional info that might give us an idea of who the Russian is masquerading as Jeff. I'll post updates on this situation as it comes about. 3. Lastly, this was suggested by another Redditor in the old post, and I liked the idea. I think it would be great if we could pull together a list of best practices to try and keep our friends and family, especially the older ones, safe when it comes to meeting people online. Once I posted my story, I was horrified at the abundance of people who had heard or experienced the same story, with slight variations. I think it's one thing to say, Mom, this sounds like a scam. It's another to say to her, Mom, this has every hallmark of being a scam. It has A through Z on the list of warning signs. So I'll start. These aren't all necessarily about my mom's situation, but they deal with details other people warned me of. Please feel free to contribute. Start at romancecam.com if you have suspicions. I was contacted by a mod there after they got a ton of hits. Thanks, Reddit, D, and they have a great collection of stories and warnings from other people who have been hurt, duped, or lost everything. Rich, foreign business people do not find love on Match.com with middle or lower class women. The new romance asks for favors that seem innocuous. Receive and send some mail packages, send a small loan, anything that a legal citizen with a job, a working phone, and a legit address should be able to do for themselves without any problems. It's not innocuous and could be criminal. Fun fact, if they are a Russian in Florida, run for the hills. I know it's all anecdotal, but the number of people commenting on the fact that Florida is the place for Russians in organized crime spooked me sufficiently. I would love feedback on this one. I wouldn't want to say... Don't date foreigners, but the number of people dealing with stories of men and women from other countries with accents that woo too many people is widespread. Should one just assume it's a red flag and be highly wary until their identity is verified? Thanks again for everything, Reddit. You rock my socks so hard. Seriously. I'm barefoot right now. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and let us know your thoughts.